Go with slow shadow on the mic. I play to win, never to lose. In the contest of champions, I'm the one that shoes. Swipe straight oh, down, I'm losing slick. Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick. Class champ, I'm the master of the game. Cosmic science, skill tech mutant, I claim. Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. The fight, I'm swift. My tactics excite. Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world. Marvel, I'm the King Crown, so listen up. Here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. Oh, I cannot wait for this one. Now, if you guys have not seen my summer sales opening, it's titled Wailing on a Budget. You need to stop the video right now and go check that video out. It was huge, my largest opening ever. It was account changing. And if you do not go to look at that video, you're gonna have it spoiled in this video because I am gonna take up some champions that I got from that summer sales event. So if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, We've got three champions. One is a six star. I'm going to take up to rank four. And we've got two seven stars that I'm taking to rank three. Okay. So if you think you can guess who these champions are, leave a comment below. And we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First one up is going to be Magneto, House of X, Magneto, okay? Now, this is a champion that has always been good, but he's been outshined by Red Magneto for the most part. And mainly what people use him for are his pre-fights. Well, right now we have Spring of Sor Sorrow going on and it is... I forget, week three, I think, but we're fighting Annihilus. And one of the objectives, I believe, is the X-Men objective. Um, Magneto House of X is X-Men. Red Magneto is not. And the pool for X-Men is already pretty small in this game. So I was looking at some videos of people doing that objective with Annihilus, who is an annoying defender at the best of times. And it looked like they were having a pretty straightforward and simple time. One of them was Rizzo, the legend. My boy. I was watching him lurking in the shadows, as I like to do. And he was having... A tough time with some of the other objectives but then he started using um magneto for this objective and he was like oh yeah this was definite i think his was ranked two at first and he just took uh magneto to rank three that was it and it looks like that's probably the easiest and simplest way to do that objective so that's why I took mine to rank four. Um, I thought about ascending him, but I don't know about that. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, I have to think about it later. So the next one is the first of two rank three seven stars. And that one is going to be Gladiator. Now, I never thought when Gladiator first came out that I would be taking a seven-star Gladiator to rank three. That should tell you how much I have changed my opinion of him. All right, so when Gladiator first came out, he was not good, okay? Nobody really liked him. Then they reworked him or, or buffed him or what have you, and he suddenly is really good. But I didn't get the memo of how good he was. I knew he got reworked, but I didn't know how much better he was. And I saw someone else, 
um, I think it was during uh, Battlegrounds, who took theirs up. And I'm like, okay, I guess he's good now. You know, if they're willing to invest those resources into him, then he's got to be good, right? So I still hadn't looked into him. Then our war planner assigned me a fight using him. And I was like, no, I don't feel comfortable. I'm going to look into him, but I haven't done that just yet. And so I didn't end up using him. So later on, I actually looked into his kit and I said, okay, he's immune to power drain and power burn. I take path three in war. That is perfect, it seems, for that. You know, I was a little hesitant because I tend to run uh, the recoil masteries and he wasn't really immune to poison or bleed or anything. So I said, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, like using him, but let's see. So I looked at some videos and he looked impressive after his buff. So I said, all right. And I took him to rank two. And I'm like, OK, let's uh, let's see how, how well he does. And he did. He did well. But they started to ban Corvus. And then they put someone like Red Skull on the difficult nodes in Sections 2. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Corvus was the perfect option here. I was like, well, CGR, you know, Cosmic Ghost Rider. No, they banned him too. I'm like, whoa, I need an option for this Red Skull. So I started looking all around. And I came to um, Gladiator. And I'm like, okay does gladiator work he doesn't have any way to to armor break those armor ups and he's not shock immune and he's not bleed immune so i'm thinking this this may not work but i caught something in his kit in his kit he has a vigilance buff and if he's duped he starts with this vigilance buff while he has this Vigilance buff up, the enemy gets a minus 100% to their armor up, and he can't miss. So I said, I wonder. So I tried a practice run, and Red Skull did not get armor ups. You know he starts the fight with armor ups? He did not get them. I went, ooh, this is interesting. And then I started... um thinking this could work but he has to be duped and i might want to put a, a, a an um advanced power boost on because when i get that that initial vigilance doesn't last that long depending on your sig level so the special two activates a 20 second vigilance and by that time, the fight should be pretty much over. And if he gets an armor up, I'm like, well, I can hit into the block. As long as he doesn't have that many armor ups, it does not hurt that much. Okay? And remember, he's immune to the power burn. So he'll take a little damage, but the power burn is not going to really bother him that much at all. So I tried it in war, and it worked. So he is now my alternate counter for Red Skull when they put him on that node. Either one of them in uh, Section 2. He can do both. Okay, great counter for uh, Red Skull. So that's one of the reasons I took him up. He's useful in war, and I can see that he's going to be very useful going forward, especially since next season they're probably going to have uh, Corvus globally banned. So I'm going to need someone that can handle all those armor ups, you know, and, and I got a nice uh, set. OK. All right. Now. For the next 
rank three. And this one you guys should not even be surprised about. Okay. The next rank three seven star is Bullseye. Now, if you saw the video, you know I pulled Bullseye and you saw how excited I was to pull Bullseye. Now, I already have Bullseye as a six star rank five SIG 200. And he is a set. Well, no, no, no. I don't think I ascended him. He's just rank five, SIG 200. Okay. But his SIG ability, while it, it does help, isn't all that necessary. Okay. He is still very nasty. So I now have a rank three, seven star bullseye. And if I can get him awakened, all the better. Okay. Now, another thing about, um, and, I, and I don't think I have to tell you guys why I took Bullseye up. Anybody that's had to fight him already knows how annoying he is on defense. In fact, he usually gets banned, okay, uh, in Battlegrounds. But one of the things that I wanted to mention about the... Um, uh, rank up for Gladiator. You saw that I used a, a gem. That's what I got from that um, two to three rank up gem, a cosmic. And I was thinking, you know what? I looked at the Sig Stones that I was going to get, the arcade ones from the Spring, um, uh, Spring of Sorrows. And I was like, wait a minute. He is one of the arcade. And since I already have him duped and he needs a higher SIG so that vigilance lasts longer, perfect. So I dumped another 40 SIGs into him. He is now SIG 80. He bumped my prestige up as well. And he's someone that I will not mind taking all the way up to SIG 200, you know, as a, as a rank three. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Oh, and before I go, I almost forgot I ascended two champions. The first ascension is Red Magneto. Red Magneto, I'm about to use in Alliance War. And... I don't have the resources to take him up to rank five right now. He's not available as a seven star yet. So I figured since I'm going to be using him and he is a good option uh, for my path in uh, section two. Uh, and you'll see that if you watch my war videos. So why not take him up, you know, ascend him. The second ascension is future Ant-Man. Now, Future Ant-Man, I use in Battlegrounds a lot, and he's actually pretty good on offense, even though he's more annoying on defense. All right, so that's it. Once again, have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.